Welcome to the 200 Club. The best way to support this podcast is by checking out the sponsors in the show notes. And of course, the 200 Club is brought to you by Kane's Dear Velvet. Our body knows how to heal, but as we age, it can sometimes struggle to keep up in injuries, aches and pains come knocking. Kane's Dear Velvet is packed full of amazing nutrients that the body uses in maintaining the immune system, bones, joints, circulation and general well-being. Simply replenish the nutrients, healing happens, and you are left to get on with living your life to the full. Find out more at www.canesdearvalvet.com and use the code STAGRAW252 for a 20... Welcome. We've got the Sandwich Trophies now, the final um, set of trophies from New Zealand Big Game Records Series Volume 4, the Rooster Samba and the Whitetail Deer. Of course, we started with the Whitetail Deer. 236 club for the Samba. I've got the uh, NZDA t-shirt on, one I picked up at the Seeker Show. It was awesome talking to many of you. It was cool standing beneath quite a whopping uh, Samba trophy there, actually, on the NZDA stand. Um, if you'd like to get your hands on one of the copies of the Big Game Records, NZDA has those. So head over to the NZDA website. You might pick yourself up one of these t-shirts. And... Um, Copies of the Big Game Records series. Uh, you can grab yourself Volume 4, The Rooster Samba and Whitetail Deer, as well as Seeker, The Red, Shammy, Chamois, and the Tar Fellow. It's all there. They're bloody good. I've got to get my hands on some more. Anyway, the two, six, uh, 236 Club, all measurements are expressed in inches, one inch equaling 25.4 millimeters. In the list of Samba trophies and the relative score sheets presented with the profiles of those trophies scoring in excess of 236, all measurements are expressed in eighths of an inch with the exception of the final score struck which is expressed in full fractions. The system is used to facilitate measurement at accurate calculation and ease of assessment. The complete score sheet is presented with each trophy. Perhaps it's opportune to suggest that no other species of deer in New Zealand has so many unclaimed trophies, where the owner is not the successful sportsman. This trend suggests that Samba trophies are not as impressive to some hunters as those of other species such as red or perhaps fallow deer. Perhaps it is due to the simple and primitive configuration so obvious in a number of Asiatic species. On the other hand, particularly in the Bay of Plenty, the number of stags taken by pig hunters fail to reach the eyes of those who appreciate their value. Then again, many have not been recorded in the list of trophies measured by the Douglas Score system and ultimately included in the records of the NZDA. There are six trophies displayed and general statistics recorded by John Forbes and Major R.A. Wilson in their catalogue of New Zealand deer heads displayed at the New Zealand Pavilion at the British Empire Exhibition Wembley 1924. Several of these cannot be located. Those not included in the NZDA records have been listed at the end of the sample list, unfortunately basic measurements only. The total score quoted at the foot of each score sheet is the Douglas score. Douglas score rewarding symmetry and type. Which brings us to number one. R.G. Hill, Mōutoa Swamp, Early 1920s. So, number one for the 236 club um, falls outside the type. So, the length on each is 39 and 6 by 39 and 4, so just under that magical 40 inches. So, it's, it's whopper. Um, and the spread uh, is 40 and 1 eighth. So, what they've done is taken off 3 eighths. So, the difference. They times that by three, which is one and one eighth, and so that gives them a total spread of thirty nine for the Douglas score. Span is thirty two and five. The beams, they've got a six and a five and six eighths for them. Coronate uh, nine and two and eight and seven. The brow tine, it's the thumper twenty and six by eighteen and three. The inner top is thirteen and six by twelve and five. So that's uh, true to type, the inners shorter than the outers, which are 19 and 5 by 19 and 2. So the total for number 1 is 280 and 3 eighths. 
The magnificent stag which produced these record antlers was secured by this well-known New Zealand sportsman sometime during the early 1920s. They are probably the finest set ever produced by the Sri Lankan form, both here, Australia or Sri Lanka. Just how Hill secured this imposing trophy remains a mystery, as the details of the hunt were never recorded. The writer has heard a number of varying accounts, but unfortunately most have been based on conjecture. It has even been suggested that the stag was taken in India, but that can be discounted as utter nonsense and was obviously based on its size and quality. Yeah, jealousy doesn't do anyone any favours. Hill's exploits and relative success while hunting red deer in the mountains of Otago and South Westland clearly indicate the hunting ethics and methods of this acknowledged sportsman. His achievements in the region would suggest preference for stalking with a rifle rather than coursing. He may well have enjoyed the advantage of dogs to flush the animal from cover, a practice tra traditionally used in those early days of hunting Samba in the Manawatu, and particularly in the vicinity of the Mōutoa swamp where this trophy was evidently taken. Whatever the case, this is New Zealand's best and is probably the finest specimen of its subspecies in the world. So an absolute whopper to begin with. R.G. Hill, well done. That was the 1920s. So but a game animal management needs done to uh, get back to that amazing score. The genes are still there, so, you know, a bit of management... Anyway, we move to uh, 1947, Kiwi Nui near Awakiri. Frank Matchett um, has this trophy. And uh, I'll let you know the score when you tune in <laughs> to the next episode. We'll catch you there for uh, number two of the 236 Club. This series of The Big Game Records is from Volume 4, The Rooster, Samba and Whitetail, written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association Incorporated by Deed Bruce Bramwell. It was published by the Halkion Press, a division of Halkion Publishing Limited. Copyright D. Bruce Bramwell, 2006. First published, 2006. All rights reserved. <laughs>